The Subnational Governance Programme is funded by DFID. Uh, it started in April 2013 and it runs for five years. We have a full-time staff of 50 to 60 people operating across seven offices at both provincial and district level. What it does, it supports two provincial governments, the government of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and the government of Punjab, to build their capabilities to deliver basic public services. Following a, a change in the constitution in 2010, um, provinces in Pakistan now have greater responsibility for delivering basic services and the Subnational Governance Programme is working with, with Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Punjab provinces to build their capacities, uh, their analytical skills uh, to deliver particularly health and education but other, other basic services. It's very important to focus on people's attitudes and behaviours if you want change to be sustainable. And very often a reform can be seen as threatening. And the role of the consultant in that process is to be a bit like a trusted advisor to help them along that process. One of the components of the program is a challenge fund to support innovation in governance and service delivery. The program has uh, funded 14 pilots, of which nine have now been taken up by government. It's mainly been health and education. One pilot used radio to access children in remote parts of poor districts who uh, had difficulty uh, accessing education. There's another one in the health sector where we've uh, introduced an e-vaccination uh, e card. So when you go to a doctor or a clinic, they can immediately pull up your recent vaccination history. When implementing large and complex reform programs such as SNG. We rely on the quality of our national team, the best people who understand the context in order to find a path to delivering the project outcomes that we're, we're looking for.